Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial and today I will be teaching you guys one of my favorite transitions to do and edits and that is a fake slide. So, as you can see, I have my example of the fake slide right here. Um, as you can see, it has some one framers, it has um, two clips already, uh, somewhat flowy, somewhat flowy, <laughs> not exactly, but uh, yeah, I will teach you guys the basics of how to get a slide that's not that's that's not smooth and not stiff but somewhere in the middle but also functions somewhat different than either or so yeah let's get started so the first thing you want to do is make a null on top of your clips that are, are prepared um, i would be using um some framers that are in the clip itself so i can hide the rest of the flow frame because i don't want to use the entire flow frame so um yeah you can make a null um on your first two clips or your first clips and how many you're using uh, and then you want to link both of them uh, to that null. Uh, I have most time on each one because we will be using most time. So uh, you want to press B on your keyboard on your null. Uh, press position, uh, separate dimensions, uh, keyframe in X position, and yeah, I, I always forget to turn the UF off. Uh, but yes, that is my example. Um, right there uh so what you want to do is keyframe the position to the right you want to bring it to somewhere in the this value like 1080 maybe 1070 something like that and then you want to graph it like this uh press f9 open up the graph editor and if you ever see this you just need to press this exactly and then like the actual uh, keyframe you're actually trying to uh, adjust, not the overall one. Otherwise, it just won't. It will cover both both the X and Y, and it's really weird, and you don't want that. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, it slides, and it and I have my motion blur already enabled. So, why is this not a slide? Why is this not a slide? Let's just do end on the keyboard real quick. Why is this not a slide? Well. What we're doing is we're gonna do uh, a slide right but we're not gonna do it where it ends right here we're gonna do it where it ends there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to the right bring it to the left so it can be seen on the right and then we're going to actually go to the second to the second pair and we're gonna make a null here uh we can make it last for I make, made it make it last right here yeah that's, yeah, yeah that's fine um that's fine uh link them as as done before uh position separate dimensions x position um so as we did on the right side on the left side where we have the first pair it ends on the right side so we're gonna actually do it on the right uh start on the right side so start on the right side go left um, it doesn't really matter how much left or right you go as long as it's not astronomically noticeable uh, So in this case, I will do something like this Where it's not that noticeable. So it's the, like the cloud. It's like Just perfectly noticeable on the half part on the half part right here uh, And then I'll end it off Let me remember the one keyframe back uh, One frame for it or longer And then I'll end it at by 60 and that should work. yep works uh highlight over the third and fourth uh f9 graph editor and as you can see i did the same thing again but uh essentially what you're going to do is just make a one two graph one like this and my my motion tiles with my motion uh blur is already enabled so you don't really need to worry about it when you do it beforehand <laughs> so as you can see instead of it just doing one two like one then two then one then two you have one two three one two three four so this is how it looks and as you can see i think that's pretty cool um so now we're going to add the effects so let's add uh let's add two adjustment layers uh both one frames and then let's start right here uh, where the multi blur is most, uh, most noticeable and we're going to add brightness and contrast. Um, I love these darker effects. Uh, 
Uh, and the next thing you want to do is is um, select a half tone. I'll use S underscore half tone for this example. Frequency of the dots 200, dot sharpness to two, light, lightening the dots to negative 0.2. And then what you're gonna do next is add, everyone to keep going. Uh, radius will be to 60 and the exposure will be set to one. Uh, we have our first one done. Next one, we will be doing Uni Chromatic Aberration. Master Distortion to 1.1. Uni um, VHS Transition. Uh, tape noise to 50. Uh, skew to 1.5. Um, and just keep it like that. Um, invert Saturation. Blending mode. We will we'll meditate all this by putting a different blending mode on there. This this case, I'll put screen, and that should be that should look fine. Yep, yeah. yep, that should look fine. And then uh, we'll have the second pair is one frame is ready. Uh, so do the same thing. Add an adjustment layer, cut it down into two one frames. Um, so I'll do like this. I should do it before, so I don't have to do this again. <laughs> but next one is signal is signal strength is 200 signal amplification is 1.4 cutoff filter 150 notice how the colors kind of um, pop up more um three for the luminoids one for chroma noise no hue noise no chroma loss i i don't like that <laughs> um sharpen up at the four uh lumen modulation just turn the entire setting off um uh, we're going to add deep low again we're going to make the radius same thing like 60 and then put the exposure 0.5 and if you see a white the white bar over here you just bring the deep low over the signal and then you should be able to get rid of the white bar um then wave warp lastly um sign uh 20 height and width and 45 degree angle with depending on the set to all edges and last thing is monochrome or black and white in this or in other cases by use of monochrome uh to show you in the example uh and exposure set to negative two negative two and that are our that then those are our one framers looks pretty cool so far uh, and uh, next thing I will add are the shakes. So let's put uh, adjustment layer for the shakes. I will be using, um, I will be using my own shake, and you you can you add your or your own. But if you want to follow along with my shake, you can. So I will be using uh, shake number three in my presets, and I'll be changing the C to something around here. Uh, change the uh, frequency to seven because I believe that's not very good. In my eyes, it's not very good. It's not a very good uh, frequency to me because uh, eight. I'm not saying eight, 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 eight. Eight is not a very good frequency to me because it's too much. It, to me, it's too much. And uh, just make sure your, your graph is long enough for your clip to be supported. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, I have my my shape, uh, and if I want to, which I might do for the safety of time, cost of time, I'll just copy it over here. So I have to make a whole another uh, shake for you guys, and then that will be another 10, 10 minute tutorial uh, inside this one. Um, and then yeah, cool. Looks looks pretty cool. Looks really cool. And if, hey, if, and if you want to change the uh, the X part, if the Y is too much for you, you can change the Y part. You can bring it to 0.8. You can even decrease the random amplitude on your shake. Uh, make it so that the X shake is more noticeable than the Y shape. And then just go from there. And as you can see, we now have our, we now have our fix line. 
looks very cool. And um, if you want to go extra mode, I did add the um, one framer of the beginning of the first clip uh, as well. I love doing that. I love sneaking in little uh, soft lights and overlay laying modes uh, for my clips in there. Uh, so I just did this. I just went up here, put the overlay. Boom. Boom. And wait for the pre render. As you can see, that is our fake slide done. So if you like this tutorial, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to reply. Uh, if you ever need help, uh, of course, the uh, timestamp will be noted in the description. So just go to each timestamp. And uh, yeah, if you like this, what you saw, please give it a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next edit. Coming away soon. Uh, yeah. Have a good one.